Hello friends, you are welcome to this presentation. We will be considering how to set loads in the vertical and the horizontal directions. Meaning we will be considering wind load in this structure in order for us to carry out static analysis. I'm so freezing your presenter and then stay tuned as we straight away go into the lesson. So let's start. Alright, so here is the structure. This is a transmission tower. Alright, I have modeled it successfully. You can see this is the steel angle ions. Alright, and here is the foundations. Okay, so for the load setting right there, straight away using total structure 2021, how we go straight away to the uh, loading tap right there. I clear right there. I can pass through these provisions. Okay. Or I can as well come through analysis to set the load. Okay. But at first, I will pass through this loading tab. Subsequently, I will show you how you can pass through the analysis tab to also get your load set successfully. All right. So click on this load case and combination. Click right there. So once you click right there, this is the what you have at first. Right, the load combination editor will come up. Click on the load generator. Yeah, this one. So click right there, it will take you to automatic loading editor. This is an automatic loading editor. So you are now <coughs> going to be activating the load you want to consider. You can see right there, as I said earlier, vertical load combinations. You can see horizontal load combinations. Click on the horizontal load combinations and you see wind loadings. Yeah. The structure is a high rise tower, and so we are going to consider uh, wind uh, loading. So you click right there to select that. And straight away, come to the soil pressure and click also. Since we are considering other foundations, we activate your soil pressure. Okay. After which, click on the OK right there. And we give the program some seconds. You can see the load has been generated successfully. So we have activated horizontal load and as well as vertical load. The, the horizontal load is the wind load right there, all right? Okay, so wind load must be activated in order for you to be able to define the wind load using the wind load calculator because this program comes with wind load calculator, all right? And so after which, click on the OK button right there. So the next provision there is the wind load and story loads, okay? So you click right there and you have this. Mind you, if you don't select wind load in the load cases and combinations right there, you will not be able to access this wind load tab. You need to activate the horizontal load or the wind load in the load cases and combination in order for you to access and be able to manipulate and get what you want from the wind load tab. All right. So having the wind load story parameters and load dialog like this, you can see if comes straight away to this provision your wind load calculator. Now this is a calculator that is going to calculate your wind load based on the height of the structure. Okay, so what you need to do is just click right there. Just click right there, it will take you to a wind load calculator dialog. In this dialog, what you just need to change right there is the wind pressure. Okay, this is the wind pressure. This one, you need to find the wind pressure of your location. And then you put there in my locations, the wind pressure is 30, 45 uh, kilopascal right there. Okay, so after you impute that, if you have the details of the terrain of the area where you are going to uh, erect your structure, then you can begin to impute the details of the terrain and surroundings. Yeah, but for this, for the sake of this lesson, I will leave this place at default. All right, then we we'll go straight away uh, down the corner, the left, uh, down the left corner of the dialog. You can see you have create a report based on this. You can click there to create a report and the calculations. You can now see the procedure how proper structure calculate the wind load for you successfully. If you click here to generate your report, right? You click here to apply it, the effect, uh, to the, the, the effect of what you have uh, imputed, all right? So I click on apply to actually effect the wind load right there. Okay, click on OK. So wind load has been applied successfully. All right, the next thing we we'll do is uh, we'll go straight away to the analysis tab right there and then the first tab there the first provision in the, the first panel you see a uh, building analysis right there you click right there in the building analysis 
the real analysis is dialogue. At first, the pre-analysis, you need to uh, set the project parameter that consists of the codes, you can see right there, right? And the foundations, for the sake of this lesson, the foundations of this uh, structure is uh, 120 kilo uh, Newton per meter square, all right? So you go straight away to the title, and then you click right there to set the title, all right? For the uh, soil vertical subgrade coefficients, you will leave it at uh, 50,000 kilolitre per meter cube, all right? So you can't make changes to the project header, all right? But for, for the sake of time, uh, let's proceed. I click on OK. The next step there is the loading combination. Okay, this is another second method where you can pass through to set your loading combinations, as I told you earlier. For instance, if I click on the loading combination, it will take me back right there. Okay, so if you did not set it, you can also well set it right there. Click OK to get back. All right, so straight away we'll be looking at the materials. Okay, so you click on this edit material and we have column in the structure and we are going to be considering c20 slash 25 and then the grade is going to be uh, 410 and then click on the way bar and for uh, for the columns we will be considering y16 for the columns and then y20 as well as y25 will be selected for the columns all right then the program can choose any of these for the design all right so the same thing applicable to the beam as well uh, we will also choose y16 this one and that one and as well as this one okay click on okay the same thing applicable we will make changes to the slab we want our slabs <coughs> the foundation slab to be 16 and 12 only the program should select any of these two for the uh, analysis and design for the links we will be considering uh y uh y x Okay, and then just like that, go straight away to the foundation floor and we will select 12 right there and 16. Uncheck other ones just like that. All right, okay, click on the OK button. So after you must have done that, go straight away to the analysis tab right there and then building model check. You click right there to check the model, click on start just to check the model if there is any error. All right. And then the number of error is zero. You can see right there. If there is an error in this model, the analysis will not start. So you can see the number of error we have is zero. So just click on close to close that dialog. Then go straight away to the uh, building analysis. You click on this building analysis, and then the bus design options dialog. You select design column and beam, and as well as steel member design check. You carry out that. Just like that, okay. After which, building analysis, click right there to start building analysis. Give the program some minutes or some seconds to actually carry out analysis. As you can see, analysis has started successfully. All right. Checking the steering bar. It's now carrying out steel member design check. As you can see. So if you check here, you can see building analysis completed successfully. So uh, the analysis has been completed successfully. Click on closed, all right? So you click right there to close that. And this is giving you warning that the story is, is a, it's a, it's a high rise uh, structure. The, the structure is a high rise structure in both direction, one and two. It's just uh, uh, a kind of warning, you can see right there. It's not an error, but a warning, all right? So click on OK. Then you click here to close this dialog. 
and then you also click here to close but by then i want to be showing you something in a minute this is post analysis now after analysis uh, total structure 2021 we take you straight away to post analysis automatically without you going through these provisions all right so that is what you're seeing that is happening right there all right so click on the close button so we we'll, we'll look at this post analysis right there just like this i want to be activating displacement so i click right there to activate displacement just like this so you can see the displacement there if you want to check for the animation you click on this animation right there and i see the behavior of these loads that is acting on this structure successfully so this is how this load has been applied successfully on this structure all right okay if i click on the diagram you will see uh, uh, how the diagram of the bending moment and as well as the shear force diagram is being drawn based on the load applied on this structure successfully and i will close that if i also go back to the uh, solid model right there click on the solid model so these are the loadings based on the uh mean load calculator so this is the loadings that was applied on this structure successfully all right just like this okay so the analysis is successful okay so you will go back to the to the main model you have this and this is the analytical model tab you have that okay i want to stop the animation right now and then go back to the model okay so to check whether the model is actually designed or not you need to come to the view all right you click on this view all right and then uh, you check the review right there click on the review tab and you can see a uh, design statute right there so if you click on the design statute you will notice that anyone that shows green means pass the one that shows red means failed so you can see that based on the load that is coming on these columns uh these four columns are failed all right maybe the section is not uh actually uh it's not actually okay it's, it's not it's, it's, it's insufficient can't withstand the load that's coming from the tower and so we are going to be doing this all right so you can see some still members are passed like this one is passed this one at head if you want to check that click on that right click and click on the uh still design member still member design click right there it gives you the property of the still so you can see right there okay just like this okay and then you see check click right there to check that you can see everything is passed check for combined forces uh other compression check and the share check everything has passed okay for that particular steel section all right so but for this one i've failed so we will be editing this in the next lesson and this third column where we will also redesign them to make them passed successfully so that we will be doing in the next lesson so stay tuned as we bring the lesson to a close now if you are new on the channel subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced lesson of this kind bye for now